कि क्या ये ग्लास लैब है ठीक समझना इसको तिवारी ये क्या है ग्लास लैब और ये हो गया आपका एयर ठीक तो प्रॉपर्टी क्या होती है बताओ सर व्हेन द ऑब्जेक्ट गोस फ्रॉम रेरेट न्यू रेरेट टू देंस देन इट बेंड्स टुवर्ड द नॉर्थ वेरी गुड व्हेन द लाइट विल कम फ्रॉम एयर टू ग्लास इट विल बेंड टुवर्ड द नॉर्मल यस सर एंड व्हेन इट गोस ग्लास टू एयर इट विल अवे फ्रॉम द गो अवे फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल सो दिस एंगल विल कंसीडर्ड एज आई एंड दिस वन इज आर आर ओके एंड दिस एंगल इज इंसिडेंट एंगल ऑफ This surface, yes, so it can be considered as I, I dash, I dash, and this will be R, R dash. Okay. Now suppose the slab is not present here. So what will be happen? The ray will go parallel to this one. Yes. Okay. Yes. So what we have done? We have made one normal here, perpendicular. Okay. So we know that. The par the perpendicular between two parallel lines is the distance of distance Line. of what distance of par parallel lines. lines. Okay, right. and it is known as lateral shift. Lateral shift. So first of all, we want to see that I is equal to R dash or not. Okay, it means the angle of incidence. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of emergence. Okay. Yes, so if we will apply here the angle of refraction according to the law of refraction. Refraction. Sin i upon sin r r is equal to what? Minus is equal to mu constant. Reflecting index of glass with respect to water. Air. Is that clear? Now, suppose this is angle. Uh, sorry, equation one. Now, using uh, applying the same law. Applying the same law. For the second surface, for this surface, this one if AB and it will be CD. So for the surface, CD. CD. Okay. So here it will be sine I dash upon sine R dash. R dash is equal to refractive index of air because the light is going. To air, air from glass, so it will be air, air with respect to glass. glass. Glass, is that clear? Yes. This is equation Second. two. Okay. We have a relation that uh, glass with respect to air into air with respect to glass no. is equal to one. 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 Uh, we have this relation. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, from equation one and two, we can put the value of refractive indices, and we will get sine I, I upon sine R, R into sine I, I dash upon sine R, R dash is equal to one. one. If we will see the figure, this is normal, and this one is normal. normal. So there, uh, so these two angles, R and I dash. Will be equal. equal. Why? Because okay. they are alternate angle. So if R is equal to I, I dash, okay, I. this implies that sine R is equal to sine I. I dash. Okay. From this relation, we can cancel out sine R and sine I dash, and uh, it will be. Sine i upon sine r dash is equal to one by cross multiplying. We will get sine i is equal to sine r dash. And if sine i is equal to sine r dash, it means i is equal to r dash. And i is what angle of emergence. 
and yeah. sorry incidence and r dash is angle of emergent and therefore we have proved here angle of incidence is equal to angle of emergent